Now we turn to Japan and the simmering and some say worsening crisis over nuclear radiation. It's some measure of how big it is when you consider the following. Trace amounts of radiation have now been detected in the air and in the rainwater as far east in this country as Pittsburgh and the state of Massachusetts. The amount is minute, negligible, and health officials have assured the public there's zero danger. But as to the source of it, in Japan, radiation is now in the soil, the air, and the water as the struggle continues to contain it, to stop it, and to get several crippled reactors under control. NBC's Lee Cowan standing by in Tokyo tonight. Lee, good evening. Good evening, Brian. This is all about the radioactive water at this point. There is a lot of it, and officials are trying to figure out exactly what to do with it. At one uh, pool near reactor number two, the radiation levels were 10,000 times normal. And before the workers can get back into that plant to figure out the source of the leak, all that radioactive water has to be pumped out somewhere. The stricken nuclear power plant is bleeding radioactive water. But so far, engineers aren't sure exactly where it's wounded. Not only is the water collecting in pools and buildings just adjacent to the reactors, but it's also been flooding into underground tunnels that house the plant's pipes and electrical cables. Officials say for now, the flooded areas remain a no-go zone for workers until the toxic brew is pumped out. It's important to realize that we're in a regime now that these reactors were never designed to operate in. So um, there's no playbook that tells you what to do in these circumstances. To add to the contamination woes came this troubling announcement. Tokyo Electric Power Company says plutonium has been found in soil. Plutonium is deadly to humans, even in small doses, and can stay in the environment for thousands of years. But experts say the levels found so far have been almost undetectable. Still, it prompted more worries that the extent of the damage is far worse than originally thought. And some aren't taking any chances. Tokyo is famous for its electronics shops. And the hottest item these days are Geiger counters, believe it or not. That's if you can even find one. We check stores all over Tokyo. Everyone was sold out. This is my last one, this salesman told us. I've got 200 on back order. Doesn't matter, it seems, if customers actually know how to use a Geiger counter. With many not trusting the government, they may simply offer peace of mind. And with so many unsettling images coming from areas hit so hard by the quake, any comfort goes a long way. Now, Brian, those uh, rolling blackouts continue across much of the country, including here in Tokyo. And some of the basics, like bread and water, they are uh, still scarce in grocery stores here. It seems that anything that's perishable is being sent up north, where an estimated quarter of a million people remain in shelters tonight. Brian. Lee Cowan in Tokyo. Lee, thanks.